It goes without saying that the Yachenko vault requires an excellently executed round-off phase. So the gymnast needs to be able to do a, a very square, straight round-off, and they have to practice landing the round-off in exactly the right position from an increasingly longer run. Using a carpet square or some marker will give the gymnast practice at hitting the same spot every time. And the coach will stand behind to just help the straight jump required for the next part. Good, next one. Yes, full extension, lift up straight, stretch up, good, hips forwards a little bit girls, that's it, good, like that one. Important at this stage to iron out any common mistakes with Yuchenko. And some of the common mistakes that I've found are as follows. Because the gymnast works uphill onto a springboard, it often happens that the gymnast will land too short on the springboard. From this position, if you land too short, the only options are one, to bend the knees, which we don't want, or two, to be soft in the back, to arch the back and take off short and high. The gymnast needs to land near to the vertical, but with the lower back leading the skill so that they reach backwards ready to hit the vault with a low angle. From this position the arms should lead the skill. Many gymnasts again will begin with the head. The job for the Yuchenko is to open the shoulder angle so that you contact with all the muscles in the front of the body pre-stretched. The head remains neutral in between the hands and from that position you can make a powerful Corbett action on top, rather like the whip that you would have seen on the floor sequence. So from round off bend the legs and jump back full extension with the head held neutral. The arms land from the round off slightly down to shoulder height to facilitate the swing back into the whip. So the round off will land on the springboard this way, the gymnast will lean backwards, push and extend the arms for the Yachenko. That's what we're looking for and we want to avoid a landing that arches too early. First the back and then the hands with the head still. <laughs> 